ciao, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do my base routine but my base routine with mineral foundation and this foundation routine, these products I use if I just want a little bit of makeup, I don't want to do a full face, I just want to see a little bit more glowy, a little bit more fresh and stuff like that and I just want to have a base on uh, that when I do this one and if I would do makeup every day this is what would have been my everyday makeup routine um, yes because I don't wear makeup every day I go up so early to work so I don't have the time to do makeup in the morning we can say it like that and the products i'm going to use it's mostly from the foundation and the concealer and the primer is from the same brand and it's from a swedish brand and i think the whole brand is vegan and this is the only mineral foundation i have tried and i love it and that's why i haven't tried anything else and the brand is called tk you can't see it i think i have to look in you find it no it's called Decay Mineral Makeup and I have looked this up. It's a Swedish brand but you can order from Decay outside of Europe and yeah it's and the shipping was not so it was pretty cheap and um, it's different shippings if you live in the in Sweden it's no shipping at all I think and it's one shipping in the EU and one shipping outside of the EU. EU. Do you say EU? Because Europe and EU is EU. It's not the same thing. Okay, we will just get started. And I always start oh with their makeup primer, their mineral primer. And I use their own brush. This is a little Kabuki brush. They have a bigger one as well. And this brush is really good. So I use this first for the primer. And if you want a really good coverage, you can use um, this mineral foundation as your powder over your liquid foundation. I never do that because I don't like full cover. So this primer you don't need but I think it makes the foundation to stay on better. And I just kept booking in, in this. Like that. I don't think you can see any difference because this is just a white translucent white translucent a, trans, uh, a translucent powder then i'm going to use the concealer and i have the concealer in neutral and this is almost empty so i have to buy a new one they have five different undertones on their foundation and i think they have it also on their concealer i don't know but i take the same brush and i swoop this all over my face and I'm concentrating it much underneath my eyes because I am not using any liquid concealer and I want most of this around my nose because I am kind of red around my nose and I I almost said I pick my nose a lot, but I touch my nose a lot because I have my septum ring and I do like this or something. Times I do this, with which I have to stop because it looks ridiculous. So I touch my nose a lot during the day, I think more than the most of you do because of the ring in my nose. something like that and I don't know if you can see any difference now either and now we're going over to the foundation and I'm using a um, large kabuki brush from elf I love this one it's from their professional series I think it's called 
this is the best kabuki brush I've ever tried. And the foundation, I'm using two colors. I have the undertone neutral because I have neutral skin. And I have number zero and number one. And I... I think... I mixed these two together, so I think it's an equal mix um, of them both. I'm not sure. I mixed them in the same jar before I had two different jars, but it was so hard to mix it, so I put them both in the same jar. And I think it's half and half, but I now they are mixed. And this is my perfect color um, all year around, because I have the same foundation all year round, <laughs> because I never get tanned, I get like super pink, red, and then I, it comes back to this. I have never had a tan in my whole life. Sometimes I think I maybe am allergic to the sun. <laughs> okay, so I just swirl this around. And what I like about this foundation is you, you can build this up. If you want a more full coverage foundation, or as I said, you can use it as powder with your liquid foundation. But I am in for this natural thing when I use this. I just want to see a little bit more healthy and glowy and fresh when I do this. Face. And that was the foundation. And as you can see, my skin shines through quite a lot, but it has even it out. But I still have some shapes in my face, like this doesn't go away. I still have a shape. And I really like that because I I could go out like this and I don't know that everybody will notice that I have foundation on because it's so it it really looks like skin and that's what I love about this foundation it's such a good foundation and yeah I do some blush and highlighter with this I do not do any contour at all and I usually use this Linda Holberg palette uh, it's her infinite palette. She only has, yeah. Oh no, she has three palettes. I use this when I use this foundation, and this is a uh, multitask. Multitask. It's called the Infinity palette, and it is infinite. You can do whatever you want. You can do your eyes. You can do your face with this, and I usually use one of these two as my blush, of course, and I. I use them both equally, but we can take Andromeda today. It's this one. This is a light blush with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. And I just want a little bit. Not so much. Just something. And then I am taking one of these light shades to do my highlighter. And I usually use this Milk Way. I think it looks fabulous. So I use a little bit of this. And not so much. Just to get a little glow because who doesn't like the glow? And I only use this on my cheek. I don't use it on my lip or on my nose. I just want a little glow. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. But I think I will do my eyebrows off cam. Because I don't like to do them on cam. And you have already seen me doing my brows in my other base routine video. And I do the exact same brows every time because I I use one brow product 
until it's empty and then I go over to the next one. So I will fix my brows and then I will come back. So the eyebrows are on and now I have two things left of my base routine when I do my easy going no makeup makeup base routine mineral foundation shiznits or I don't know what I'm going to call this one my base routine with mineral products maybe um yeah uh, because this is mineral foundation and it looks like skin it doesn't look like I have any foundation on I still want to use a face mist because I am a little bit dry and it feels nice to my face if I use a face mist and I usually use this face mist from the body shop but this is almost empty i have some spritzes left and i want to use a face mist that gives a glow so uh, this is the mandarin energizing face mist and when this is empty i have this one from lumina this is their nordic sea glow refresh hydrating mist this is the best face mist i have ever tried but right now I have used this and this is a really good face mist. I think I will buy this again because it's a very it's a very good size. If you want it you can have this at work or in your handbag because you can use these how much you want during a day. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to spray my face. I think I maybe have one more spritz to go. So I use this and the last step is actually a lipstick because I need some color to my lips and I want some color to my lips when I have this. I don't know why but I just want it. And I use the Linda Holberg Pink Opal. It's her fantastic. And it looks like this and this is a sheer glossy lipstick that feels amazing it looks like this i love this for this kind of makeup and i think you can use this color if you have no other makeup on because it just it's a really fine nice color so this is my every day to day base routine if I would have one because I don't but if I would have one this would be it so I really like the I really like I really love this foundation I can really recommend it for you if you are looking for a mineral foundation and this is suitable for sensitive skin as well and it's is it called hypoallergenic when it's not causing any allergy oh my god hypoallergenic when it not causes any allergies you know this kind of lip colors that you describe as my lips but better this is like my face my skin but better and I love this I think this is amazing and yeah it it just looks so good so I will stop babbling and just end this video and I hope you like this don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not so you don't miss any of my videos and I will hope I see you in the next one and I will also leave all the products down in the description box and you can buy all these products wherever you live in the world because I'm 99% sure that you can do it I think they have worldwide shipping <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one Bye!